Hey everybody, Will from Studio Zombie 3D here back with a quick video on how to update the firmware on your Anycubic Viper. First thing we're going to do is format our micro SD card. Make sure you use the allocation size of 4096. Copy your DWIN set folder over to the micro SD card. Once that's done copying over, we're going to eject that card. Next thing we're going to do is copy our firmware file over to the regular SD card for the printer. Once we're done copying that file over, eject that card. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to swap over to the Viper and load the cards. Alright, first thing we're going to do is we're going to flash the display. Take your micro SD card and insert it into the slot at the bottom. Once that's in, power on your Viper. This process takes about 4 or 5 minutes to complete. Alright, once the screen's done loading, you'll just play the startup sound and you can power off your Viper and remove the SD card. Alright, now we're going to flash the printer itself. Take the firmware on your SD card, load it into your Viper, and power it on. The startup animation will play with no sound. After a few seconds, the hot end light will come on, and then after a few more seconds, you'll hear three beeps. Next, we're going to be on the main menu. Go down into your system and about should say 245 and you're good to go. Alright, that's it. Viper's updated and ready to go. Make sure to calibrate your e-steps and flow. I'll have a link to my custom firmware in the description below. Linear advance and junction deviations been enabled and I've also enabled a safety feature on the leveling. Before it starts, you test the sensor. Alright everybody, that's it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and check back for more.